following video, we will discuss some of the challenges our world is currently facing, as well as how some people have chosen to react and develop solutions to those problems. People often refer to a country as developed or developing, but what do these words actually mean? Their definitions will change depending on what your metric is. For example, the number of dollars people make in a day, how healthy people are, and how happy people are, are all different metrics. The Happy Planet Index measures the health and happiness of a country based off of their ecological footprint. The top three countries on the Happy Planet Index are Costa Rica, Dominican Republic, and Jamaica. Just because these countries are at the top of the Happy Planet Index doesn't necessarily mean that the people in these countries are the happiest people in the world. Being at the top of the Happy Planet Index means that these countries were able to achieve long and happy lives without overstretching the planet's resources. The United States was rated 114th out of 143 countries measured. Unfortunately, these are just some of the problems our world currently faces. In order to combat these issues, leaders around the world adopted the Millennium Development Goals in the year 2000 and set out to achieve these goals by the year 2015. The Millennium Development Goals provide concrete numerical benchmarks for meeting the needs of the world's poorest. Ipoli Village is a small rural village in the East Rift Valley of Tanzania. It has been home to the Wani Rimana tribe for generations. There is no electricity or running water during the dry season. Small ground holes are the only water source for both people and their animals. The local school has no books and only a handful of classrooms have chairs for the nearly 500 students. The nearest hospital is over 80 kilometers away, reachable only by ox cart, bicycle, or on foot. The Ipoli village is one example of a community home to some of the world's poorest who face constrained resources on a daily basis. Two hundred million people earn more than twenty thousand dollars annually. Two point three billion people earn between two thousand dollars and twenty thousand dollars each year. That leaves four billion people earning less than two thousand dollars annually.
people at the base of the pyramid have traditionally been considered passive recipients of charity. Alternatively, the base of the pyramid can be viewed as customers, because this population will serve as mass markets of the future. Many individuals have set out in various ways to develop solutions to the problems that our world currently faces. Humanitarian is a process, system, or practice promoting present and future well-being for the direct benefit of underserved populations. Engineering is designing and creating a component, subsystem, or system under physical, political, cultural, ethical, legal, environmental, and economic constraints typically employing math and science. Humanitarian engineering is designed under constraints to directly improve the well-being of underserved populations. Directly connected to the concept of humanitarian engineering is the concept of social entrepreneurship. Social entrepreneurs aim for value in the form of transformational change that will benefit disadvantaged communities and ultimately society at large. Let's consider an example of a social enterprise, Barefoot College. Lucy is a hard-working woman who is constantly on the move. She takes care of her family and runs her restaurant, of which she serves chapati and chai tea. After a long day of going about her business, she is very thirsty, but the only local water source is a bacteria-infected lake. She is forced to drink this water, which causes her to get a very common diarrheal disease. This disease affects her because she must miss a day of work to gain her health back. A local worker tells her about the Life Straw, which is a portable water filter for the prevention of a common diarrheal disease. It can be carried around for easy access to safe and clean drinking water. After recovering from the disease, Lucy purchases one of these Life Straws and uses it every day. She has not gotten sick since she purchased the straw and enjoys drinking water. She states that her health has even improved because of the more water she has been consuming. Life Straw is not the only company to recognize the potential of the market at the base of the pyramid. There are many others that are designing products to directly improve the well-being of underserved populations. As we have discussed, social entrepreneurs are a new breed of business leaders that applies entrepreneurial strategies to social and environmental problems. Social entrepreneurs are often also humanitarian engineers, using innovative science and math to develop sustainable solutions to problems that the base of the pyramid faces. They also work towards achieving the Millennium Development Goals. As a result, over time, these changes may influence our perception of what countries are considered developed and developing.